Hi guys, welcome back. Today it's Jira Bro. I mean it it was always Jira Bro. Our topic Confluence whiteboards and Miro whiteboards. Confluence whiteboards is a relatively new feature that came out and it's pretty it's pretty interesting feature that you can do. And it's really useful to have this in Confluence, especially if you want to actually create something for your team that, you know, can be manageable and that you can store in your pages. For example, if you if you want to have some kind of retrospectives or something like that, that is really awesome when it comes to Confluence uh, whiteboard. There are actually a lot of things in here. As you can see, there is like a selector and there is like a, there is like a hand movement that actually well uh, helps you to move around the board, which is actually pretty good. What else we can do? We can put a sticky note and I can say this. This is great, for example. Okay, and I can put another sticky note. I can change the color. I can say, keep rocking, for example. What uh, there is also, you can also import stuff from Jira. So if I want, and let's say I want to import an issue right here, I can do it. As you can see on the whiteboard, I have like from our project AI web uh, test API. When I click on it, it automatically re redirects me to the issue. And this is actually pretty, pretty good. Wow, this is amazing actually. And there's like something like stamps and you can, you can do it like this. Okay, there are some stickers that you can add. There's some images that you can import. Wow, this is pretty, pretty great. And especially if you want to, if you want to share this with your team, you can now also archive it. You can do all of those great things. And this is amazing about the Confluence whiteboard. No, no matter no matter why we want this issue to be implemented. Now I understand. So this is pretty cool. On the other hand, we have Miro. Miro is more, uh, more captivated towards the product management and creating the wireframes, you know? Someone who has been in the product management field knows what I'm talking about. And as you can see right from the get go, you can see Miro has more, more options in here. It has more possibilities, you know, and some things like that. But what do I like about Confluence is you can save your whiteboards as pages and share with, with your team. I can, I mean, you can do that with Miro, but then again, you would need to copy and paste it all of the time, which is something that you don't want to do it always. You want to, you want to go and say, Hey guys, this is the link to, to our, uh, retrospective. You have it in Confluence. That's it. And some may say, well, you can do, do the same thing with Miro. You only just import it in Confluence, but this is, you can do it from the Confluence as well. So in here, in the Miro, you have like option to create Miro. Miro is good, for example. So you can make it like this. And there are other things in here, just, uh, just like, uh, for example, wireframes so this is uh this is mostly used for the product management purposes when you're actually creating a feature so in here for example you have it for you have it for the browser right yeah and this would be the browser extension and for example you want to have 
you want to have more things in here. Let me go to wireframes. Where are they at? Uh, wow, it seems like uh, wireframe library. Yeah. And I can type here, I can type here search. And this is what you get. This is basically like a search bar. And you can, you can do it like this. You can extend it. You can, you can go with here. You see the point I want to make. So, Miro is for the whiteboards as well, but for the wireframing as well and the other things. And some may ask, well, can it be used in the UX UI? Personally, I never, I never saw Miro being used as the UX UI tool. Figma was more geared towards that. Kier is an excellent tool for you, for the UX UI. But what I think about the Confluence whiteboards, it, this is a this is an amazing thing, especially when you want to point out uh, to which issue is like important, what kind of on what issues you need to work on when it comes to the retrospectives and things like that. You don't need to go and share the links link by link. You can go ahead. You can import several several issues, and you can say, uh, "Guys, this is what we talked about on our retrospective that needs to be done, and then needs to be worked on." So, let's get into it. So this is why Confluence whiteboards are great, but. Of course, it's limited to those things when it comes to, you know, creating uh, wireframes. Miro has more options when it comes to, you know, creating the uh, uh, creating the design, if I can say in quotes. But for the Confluence whiteboards, this is enough. You, won't, you wouldn't need a lot of things in here, you know. If it's like simple, the better. You can say it like that. So Confluence whiteboards an amazing thing and I would recommend for you guys to make your own Confluence space and start playing with this feature because it's awesome. Alright, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.